All right. Game number one. Let's see. All right, I think we can keep this hand. Let's see if this is going to work. Start off with a mountain and an arsonist. I hope that we'll run into a third mana source and an enchantment. All right, white and an expedition envoy, which means we are not going to be attacking. So we did get the enchantment. So now we're just waiting for our next mana to hit. Our opponent does have reprisals, which means that he can't take out the flaring flamekins. All right, Nimbus Wings. So he is going to hit us for three, which is quite a decent and a fast start from our opponent. So we do get our planes that we need. So we're going to hit him for one and then cast out our Flaring Flamekin. And then we just have to hope that he doesn't have any instant speed removal like the Twin Bolt and instant speed removal like Reprisal to deal with our Flamekin. Let's see if he's going to cast out anything. I think he also has Reclamation Sages in his deck, which is definitely not optimal for our enchantments. So attacks for 3, leaves us at 16. Alright, cast on Bridal Growth. And nothing else. So he might have an instant speed removal. Um, we can just steal this. And then just hit him with everything. Yeah, he might have some problematic spells here. I do want him to tap out. So I think I'm just going to steal this. Hit our opponent for 8. Leave him at 11. Let's see, he's for 3. Let's see what else he does. If he doesn't do at the board, I'm just going to hit with the Renegade Willsmith. Alright, he does have the Sky Hunter Skirmisher. So in this case, we're just going to go for the Inferno Fist. Enchant the Flaring Flamekin. So he is now a 6-4. We can make it 7. He does have both flyers, so we are going to attack with the Goblin Arsonist. Let's see, we've got 7 damage, and then we can sacrifice the Inferno Fist next turn. which would be 11 exactly. Or we can attack and keep up one red to play it safe in case he removes and just answer with Inferno Fist with an additional damage. It's a close call. Let's go ahead and attack. I think... One green, well, he might have, he does have a pump spell for one green. He does have the, what's it called? Um, the one that pumps you for every forest. So, yeah, he might have some removal here. I'm just not going to risk it. Let's go. Head and hit for seven. All right, he has three forests now. 
So the Primal Roar, that's what it's called, is can bump him up to a 4-4. Four four. Let's see if he's going to attack. I wouldn't say no to top decking another of our traitorous instincts. We do have a guaranteed 2 damage next turn. Then we have the Flaring Flamekin and the Healed Pilgrim that we can use. But we have to watch out for him just pumping his skirmisher to attack for a little. So let's see. Alright, has a primal hunt beast and has a white mana source. So has seven in total. Alright, we can just get rid of the skirmisher. Which means that this is more or less game. For our opponent, we can make it into... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack with the Goblin Arsonist without doing anything to the Flaring Flamekin after I Twin Bolt. Now, the better effect is still if we are going to attack. So we get rid of his two creatures, we hit him for 3, which is, I think, pretty decent. I think I'm just going to pump the Flaring Flamekin when he double blocks me. Alright, double blocks. We are going to pump. Which means we get in for two more. Leave our opponent at only one. And yeah, I think that next turn he will have to block me anyway. And the Goblin Arsonist deals one damage when it dies. So I'm afraid that no matter what our opponent does, he is not going to be winning this game. Let's not add the insult to the injury, just attack. Alright, first game is a win. Let's go on to the next one. Right, game two. <laughs> Let's see, this doesn't look like a winning proposition. This is slightly better, let's keep this hand. I think we want to be a bit more aggressive since we do have the Nimbus Wings. This is very similar to what our opponent did last game. And we were lucky since he has invited me twice in a row and twice in a row I'm the first one to play. Sunblade Elf, a very decent one drop. If he has a planes it's going to be a 2-2. Alright, we did get the Sky Hunter Skirmisher, but I'm not too sure we are going to be able to cast it out unless we have insane luck. And we are going to get another white mana source. So no guarantees here. Alright, so he will hit us for only one. This is good news for us. Also, double green is not exactly the best, I suppose. And we do have the Goblin Osnes that can be aggressive enough. Alright, so we didn't get the white mana source. And the question is, do we play out the Healer's Pilgrim or the Osnes? I think given that he has the Sunblade Elf, it is fine for us to go for the effectiveness in the mana curve. So the question is, what do we get? And definitely not suppression bonds. It's either the Inferno Fist or something like a Siegecraft. But I'm more inclined to go for Inferno Fist because we can cast it out and then we can use the Mountain to deal 2 damage 
in case he has a removal for the envoy. All right, no attacks. Our opponent is stuck on green, so yeah. Let's go for the Inferno Fist. Let's just attack. I think I don't want to use the Goblin Arsonist in case our opponent has a white mana source. Then he'll be able to deal with us at instant speed. This would definitely not be optimal. Alright, Unbridled Growth perhaps will sacrifice... Or oh, he has white mana now. So basically, he, if he does have Reprisal, he can try and do it at any time he wants. So we've still got to keep up the mountain. Let's see if there is anything in chat. Alright, Nimbus Wings. So yeah, now it is at 2-3. But he is tapped out, which means that he will be able to block once. But he won't have any way of dealing with this. Alright, we got we even drew the siege craft, but not the mana. But this is something that you just sort of have to do. I don't mind if he uh, blocks the Healy's Pilgrim and kills it. I mean, that is completely fine. It's only purpose in life is only to get the auras that we need in this deck. So I'm definitely just going to sit on this red. Because if it doesn't have another... Alright, this is the reprisal. This is what I was talking about. So, yeah. We're just going to sack the Inferno Fist, deal 2 damage. And this is going to fizzle the reprisal. So it looks like this is already game. We got some really decent hands. Primal Bellow is going to deal some good damage to us. If the Primal Bellow was used in the Sky Hunter Skirmisher. This would have been devastating, of course, but in our case, we were more lucky and we even got a Plains, so might as well just rub the insult to the injury and tap the Sunblade Elf and attack for lethal. Alright, good game. Thank you very much for the games and I wish him the best of luck in the rest of the tournament.